last time I did this, I broke a glass. <laughs> if you've been here before, welcome back. If you haven't, um, and welcome to my um, makan club. Makan in Malaysia is eat. We have four courses to get through. Um, each one, if you've been here before, I, I go a little bit crazy with them. Sometimes it's experimental, sometimes I know what I'm doing, sometimes I completely have no clue. So um, you're kind of like my guinea pigs. Um, I think a supper club is something that is away from the traditional restaurant experience. The Good Bear is a perfect size for me because it has enough people to create that atmosphere but not too much that it overwhelms and it compromises the quality of food. I met Mauro uh, at his restaurant when he used to have Ayo, the Sardinian restaurant. I love going there for one dish and that dish was a, a seafood fregola and I couldn't, couldn't get enough of it. And uh, now we've worked together for almost a year. So I know him very well now and it's hard to get someone who gets your food. But he loves it. He loves my salads, he loves the flavours that I, I get him to try and we work really, really well together. Um, I started the supper club about um, a year after I had my second child. As a chef, it really revives my passion for cooking. I can feel the difference in me when I'm, I'm creative, when I'm creating. I sit here in the living room, you know, kind of having a glass of wine, planning out my menu. Mostly the dishes are planned around my recent experience, things I've eaten before, things that I'm inspired to make, or just purely because I want to make them. The people that come to my supper club, it could be local, I have some that travel far and wide, but there is a common trait in them that they are all very adventurous. You won't come to my supper club not knowing what to eat, who you're gonna sit with um, if you're not adventurous. So they're open-minded, um, they are, sometimes they're well-traveled, they would really take into uh, the story of why I created something for them. So for instance, the, the curry puff. You know, the day before I had this idea of serving in a bag rather than a plate because I want them to actually truly feel what it's like having a curry puff off the streets. Now, I can't transport the streets of Malaysia to the cafe, but what I can do is to try to immerse them into what, you know, buying a curry puff in, on the roadside is by tearing open a bag and it went down a storm. So that kind of thing I can do in a supper club at a moment's notice. You know, I don't have to plan it, I just do it. What I love is going around talking to people and they always have their favorite dish. Oh, for me, it's this. Um, I like this and this is a little bit too spicy, but I love it. It's a level of surprise for me as well. It's like, um, you know, pleasantly surprised that people like my experiments, my crazy experiments, but you know, that's what they're there for.